for those of you who were complaining about the uniform sleeves, look at those muscular arms in your face. The trailer starts with the classic scene of Wolverine in the bar, something that is recurrent in Wolverine's stories. There are scenes of him in the bar in the classic animation, in the first X-Men film from 2000, in the film X-Men First Class from 2011, in the Wolverine game trailer, and obviously in the comics. We have Wolverine's interaction with Deadpool, and we have this scene of Logan smiling, I believe this scene is an indication that this will be the Wolverine who will agree to help Deadpool, as I believe that Deadpool will find and ask for help from several variants of Wolverine and these variants will be in the film. And no, I'm not talking about the theory of Henry Cavill as a variant of Wolverine, I believe that we will see some variants before arriving at the bar scene, and that all these variants will be Hugh Jackman. Here we can see the famous scene that was leaked in images, which is this quarry with the Fox logo, which is actually Void, which is shown in the first season of the Loki series, but many people found this version of Void a little empty, and that there could be more Easter eggs and fan services, Professor X's chair, the Avengers ship, things like that. In fact, I agree, apart from the Fox logo, there are few things that are recognizable and that are related to the Marvel or Fox films, but I believe that these elements are there, but they were removed in the trailer, and will only be in the final version of the film. Right before the scene with Wolverine getting mad at Deadpool for saying that his world was destroyed, we have this other scene, in which we can see Wolverine near these structures that to me seem to be tombstones, probably the tombstones of the X-Men from this Wolverine's universe, but the interesting thing is that it doesn't actually seem to be a real place, I believe this will be a vision of the Wolverine's mind, to contextualize what happened to his universe, and this vision must be related to Cassandra Nova, who is supposedly the villain of the film, I don't think so, but we'll get to that, but for those who don't know, Cassandra is this bald character who appears inside Ant-Man's head, and yes, it's the dead Ant-Man, this is a reference to what happens in the comic Old Man Logan, in which we have the giant lifeless body from Rank Pym, which is called Pym Falls, but going back to Cassandra, she's a villain, and she's Professor X's sister. Yes this bald girl now looks very familiar, she has similar powers to her brother, she is a powerful telepath, and in the comics she is the main villain responsible for the mutant genocide in Genosha, which was very well adapted in episode 5 of X-Men 97, but in this animation I believe she will not be the villain. Many people were confused by this scene in the trailer, that the villain would be using telekinesis to control Wolverine's body or even magnetism, to control his claws, as she makes some gestures, which give the impression that she has a strong external acting, and of course there is the possibility that the film version of the character has different powers, but in this scene she is probably using her telepathy to control Wolverine's mind and make his body move against his will. Here we can see Alioth, that smoke monster that appears in Loki, and that will probably attack in one of the scenes involving the Void, including the scene where Wolverine and Deadpool jump into Doctor Strange's portal, you can see the purple smoke approaching, so they are probably running away from Alioth, or at least knowing that he is coming, and about the portals, I don't believe that Doctor Strange will be in the film, because Benedict Cumberbatch is an expensive actor, I would bet that this portal was made by Wong, and Wong will appear, and will probably have some joke related to the fact that they couldn't hire Cumberbatch for this film. The film also has some cameos from other characters from the Fox films, here we can see some of Callisto from X-Men 3, Toad who appears in several films, this bald guy I couldn't identify, if anyone knows please leave it in the comments, here we can clearly see Lady Deathstrike, from X-Men 2, and on the other side, Azazel, also known as Nightcrawler's father, who appears in X-Men First Class. These are really cool cameos, and I believe there will be a lot more in the film. We have some Wolverine and Deadpool fight scenes, which are really cool, and yes I know in that scene, you were thinking, where do the bullets go? Are they inside Wolverine's body? And the answer is no, since Wolverine's healing starts from the inside out, so foreign bodies are generally expelled through the same holes they entered, and I just wanted to comment that this scene of Wolverine without the sleeves of his uniform was incredible, even though they didn't have the shoulder pads, since the shoulder pad is part of the sleeve, but it was amazing, and we haven't had any scene of him with the mask yet, even though publicity materials for the film have already been shown that reveal the mask, so I believe he will use it in just one scene of the film, to please the fans, and will remain maskless for the rest of the film. But the Monio, why don't they leave the actor with the mask on longer? Because actors are expensive, and if you hired them, you want to show them off, use their faces to advertise, that's a trend, unfortunately, that's why in the MCU's third Spider-Man movie, 
the three protagonists there almost always without a mask, even in Avengers Endgame, Tony Stark fights Thanos without a helmet, in the final scene, which doesn't make any sense, since he could easily die with his head unprotected. The question we all have is whether the mask scene will be at the beginning of the film and then he will take it off, or whether it will be in the final fight, and I say that I would prefer in the final fight, seeing a fight with Wolverine's full uniform would be incredible. Here we can see Wolverine lying on the ground half paralyzed, while it is said that this is one of the worst Wolverines, as he disappointed his world, and we finally arrive at this guy, who I believe will be the final boss of the film, who is the paradox, and he's the authority figure, a guy in a suit who controls an organization that oversees the multiverse, and since we have scenes of Deadpool fighting TVA soldiers, and that kind of story building structure that the film is in seeming to have, with Deadpool apparently working for the TVA, and having to team up with Wolverine to accomplish the mission, so I think this kind of twist would be quite predictable, with Paradox being the final villain, and Deadpool having that face it, to change or alter something in the multiverse. We also have references to Mad Max, references to road movies, there's this car that I don't know where it's from, but it looks like Red Skull's car. One thing I noticed is that some visual effects are not yet finished, like this effect on Deadpool's eyes, but I think it will look cool in the film. I really like the trailer, the structure that the film seems to have, sounds a little predictable in the first and second act, with Deadpool on a mission to save the people who are important to him, and Wolverine on a redemption arc, in the third act can be quite unpredictable depending on which path the film decides to choose after the final clash. But what about you, what did you think of the trailer? Leave it in the comments, and if you like the video, subscribe to follow the next content, until next time my people, demonic hugs.